I'm Cassandra, the Digi Dame. In this video, we're going to talk about revisions. So if you're not familiar with what revisions are, they are changes in your graphic design. So uh, initially, a designer will uh, present you with a concept or multiple concepts. And then once you've uh, given them feedback, if you want changes made, then the next uh, concepts that they will send you will be your first revision. And usually a designer includes several rounds of revisions um, in your project that you don't have to pay for. It's included with the initial price. Uh, so I personally have three rounds of revisions. And then if you still want further changes after that, um, it incurs an additional cost. So that's what a revision is. Um, and every design is different with how they implement revisions. I do mine in rounds. So because you only get three, um, I always tell clients that it's best to try and squeeze in as many changes as you can within that revision. It's um, much quicker for me, much more time effective if I need to do 10 changes in one revision then having to do one per revision round and then we end up with 10 rounds of revisions so um and this is tiny little changes okay this is this is not a complete overhaul so a revision is very different to a concept change if a client comes back to a designer and says no this is terrible i don't like this at all then that's not really counted as a revision. That's a concept change and will likely incur um, a further cost. But revisions are tiny little changes. So changing the colour of something, changing the placement of a graphic, um, changing a font, you know, things like that, very small changes. Um, and, yeah, it's general practice to include several rounds um, within your project so just always double check if your designer doesn't actually clarify um, whether they provide you with revisions or not make sure you ask before you um, go ahead and work with them and always make sure that you have a contract signed um, that you can read through fully so you understand uh, where you stand when it comes to things like revisions and if you don't like the design or not I hope that's helped to clarify what revisions are and how they work for your next design project.